My name is Tejon Wong. My project name is Pinky in the Brain. Pinky in the Brain is about the dictators and how they ruled over their area at their certain time. Joseph Stalin was the leader of the Soviet Union. Stalin was one of the most brutal leaders in world history. He had anyone that didn't agree with him killed. He also caused famines in areas of the country so people he wanted dead would starve. Throughout his rule, he would order purges where millions of people he thought were against him would be killed or put into slave labor camps. Historians aren't sure how many people he had killed, but they estimated between 20 to 40 million. At the start of World War II, Stalin formed an alliance with Adolf Hitler in Germany. However, Hitler hated Stalin and the Germans did a surprise attack on the Soviet Union in 1941. After that battle, Stalin joined the forces, the allies of Britain and the United States. After a terrible war where many died on both sides, the Germans were defeated. After World War II, Stalin set up puppet governments in the Eastern European countries that the Soviet Union had freed from Germany. These governments were run by the Soviet Union. This started the Cold War between the two world superpowers, the Soviet Union and the United States. His dictatorship ended when he died on March 5, 1953. Benito Mussolini was the dictator of Italy. He was also the leader of the fascist party. The fascist party became popular with the people of Italy, and Mussolini began to grow in power. In 1922, Mussolini and 30,000 black shirts marched to Rome and took control of the government. By 1925, Mussolini had total control of the government and was established as the dictator. He became known as El Duce, which means the leader. Once in control of the government, Mussolini looked up to build up Italy's military strength. In 1936, Italy be invaded and occupied Ethiopia. Mussolini thought that this was the only this was only the beginning. He felt that Italy would soon rule much of Europe. He also called he also allied himself with Adolf Hitler in the Nazi Germany in an alliance called the Pact of Steel. In 1940, Italy entered World War II as an ally of Germany and declared war on the Allies. However, Italy was not prepared for such a large war. Early victories became defeats in the Italian army, became spread out across a number of fronts. Soon, the Italian people wanted out of the war. In 1943, Mussolini was removed from power and put in prison. However, German soldiers were able to break him free and Hitler put Mussolini in charge of northern Italy, which was controlled by Germany at the time. By 1945, the Allies had taken over all of Italy and Mussolini fled for his life. Mao Zedong founded the People's Republic of China and was prim the primary leader of the country from its establishment in 1949 until his death in 1976. Mao also led, led the Communist Revolution in China and fought against the Nationalist Party in the Chinese Civil War. His ideas and philosophies regarding communism and Marxism are often referred to as Maoism. Maoism. He became a communist in 1921 he then soon became the leader. When the communists allied with the Kuomintang, Mao went to work for Sun Yat-sen Yat in Hanan. Another event that he participated in was the Long March. The retreat of the communists from the Kuomintang army is called the Long March today. Over the course of a year, Mao led the communists over 7,000 miles across southern China, then then north to Shanghai, Shanghai province. Although most of the soldiers died during the, ma the march, around 8,000 survived. These 8,000 were loyal to Mao. Mao Zedong was now the leader of the Communist Party. Another event that he was participating in was the Great Leap Forward Plan. In 1958, Mao Zedong announced his plan to industrialize China. He called it the Great Leap Forward. Unfortunately, the plan backfired. Soon, the country experienced a terrible famine. It is estimated that 40 million people starved to death. His dictatorship ended in China on September 9, 1976, from a Parkinson, Parkinson's disease. He was 82 years old once he died. Bashar al-Assad was addicted to Syria. He was accused of many crimes and is known for his chemical weapons. The Saudi military launched a nerve gas attack in 2019.
1913. The military used many kinds of bombs and explosives that caused a lot of damage and caused chaos. He caused many bad things to his country. Over 9.5 million people have fought for their rights and 3 million left Syria. Although he had many supporters, people were tragically or brutally tortured and sexually harassed. His dictatorship still lives on today. Nothing is impossible for a man with a strong will. The possible is in the store only for a man who loves the future. There is no word impossible in the Korean language. This is a quote from Kim Jong-un, who was the dictator of North Korea. He controlled Korea for over 70 years, and he controlled most the most clothes and represented governments. He was the reason for many Koreans' deaths. The deaths were caused by starvation, prisons, forced labor camps, and some executions. His family had power for many years. His son, Kim Jong-un, is now leading North Korea. Kim Jong-un is the is carrying his father's ways and philosophies with him right now. Women make up one half of our society. Our society will remain backward in chains and in chains unless it's women liberated, enlightened, and educated. This quote from Saddam Hussein, who was the dictator of Iraq. He spent 24 years as Iraq's dictator. He was responsible for many atrocities, such as different kinds of torture. He invaded Iran and killed many people with chemical weapons. He and his soldiers attacked many villages and imprisoned their people. They were brutally tortured, sexually harassed, and more. The people that lived under, died, uh, died under, who lived under Saddam Hussein died to a disease and malnutrition. His dictatorship ended later on. Once a ruler becomes religious, it becomes impossible for you to debate with him. Once someone rules in the name of religion, your lives become hell. This quote was by Muammar Gaddafi, who was the dictator of Libya. Gaddafi first led people in a riot at the age of 18. Gaddafi was in power for 42 years. He started his dictatorship by demanding to shut down American and British, British military bases and getting more oil from foreign countries. In nine, December 1969, Gaddafi put laws in criminalizing, criminalizing political dissent. In 1970, he expelled the remaining Italians from Libya and emphasized what he saw as the battle between Arab nationalism and Western imperialism. In, in these early days, Gaddafi sought to orient Libya away from the West and towards the Middle East of Africa. In Africa, he uh, he involved the Libyan army in several foreign conflicts, su such as Egypt and Sudan, and bloody the bloody civil war in Chad. In the mid 1970s, he published his first book called The Green Book, which explained his political philosophy. Later on, Gaddafi had appointed himself or close family and friends to all positions in power and corrupt corruption and crackdowns of, on any kind of civic organi organizing meant so much of the population lived in poverty. Meanwhile, Gaddafi and those close to him were amassing fortunes and oil revenue while the regime murdered those it deemed as dis dissidents.